Hi Aries, welcome Aries Sun, Moon and Rising. This is going to be your weekly forecast for January 20 through 26. We're going to see what's happening the weekend with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull a tarot card for the week from this tarot deck here because this deck comes with affirmations. So we're going to have an affirmation for you this week. Let's see what's happening for Aries Sun, Moon and Rising in the week ahead. Please show us Monday, Tuesday for Aries. Wednesday, Thursday, please, for Aries. Wednesday, Thursday, please, for Aries. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Some of you might be waiting on, like, a really big decision of some kind. Or you might be waiting on some news. Because I'm feeling this feeling of, like, sus suspense. Like, I just feel like I'm in suspense. Or, I don't know, maybe you're just in... Ooh! Maybe you're in suspense of what might happen this week. Oh, well, hey, 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 look at this. Some of you might be waiting on some kind of decision or some kind of news that's going to really change your finances. Uh, so maybe you've been doing things or you've been uh, planting the seeds, so to speak, to improve your finances, whether it be applying for jobs or working on new projects uh, or trying to pull in investors for something. But when six of coins comes up, it's basically letting us know, Aries, that you are coming into a very ideal financial situation. Now, am I saying that you're going to wake up Monday morning or Tuesday morning and all of your financial problems are solved? No, but you are headed in that direction. You are headed in that direction. Something is happening to where you might receive the, the, the first kind of steps of that door opening. And so you're very, very close to it. Some of you might, some of you might be there, depending on where you are in your journey, you might be like, well, yes, absolutely. You know, it, it got fixed for me. So, but when six of coins comes up, it's you're getting out of debt. Okay, you're paying off debts, you're able to put money aside for the future, you have a nice little savings that's continuing to grow, you have enough money to where you can go out and have a good time or take time off work, go on vacation, treat yourself, you know, not have to be worried about checking your account, do I have enough money for those shoes, do I have enough money to, to go away for a little bit, can I take time off work, you don't have to worry about those things. And my favorite part is that you're also in a situation where you can do good with that money, right? Like you can pay it forward, whether it be investing it into some kind of, not investing it, but contributing it to some kind of charity, like giving it to charity or giving to, uh, you know, those less fortunate or uh, doing projects or things that are going to be making a difference or helping others in some way. OK, so that is a really great uh, financial situation to be in. Six of coins, though, I do need to say something, you guys. Sometimes we feel it more energetically before we see it in our finances. So you might feel Aries or you might start sensing or feeling like the people in your life are stepping up more. Maybe especially if you've been in Aries where you've always had to hold relationships together. You've always had to take initiative. You've always had to take, you know, the action to make things you know, moving or get things rolling or, you know, make sure things are taken care of. And you might feel like a lot of people just kind of coast on that or like, you know, just kind of go for a ride on your back. And so now you might start finding that, you know what? No, like people are starting to step up. It's not just about me keeping something together. It's not just about me having to handle everything and take care of everything and think of everything. You're beginning to feel that support. Like people are stepping up and there's this flow. There's this give and take. It's not always you just giving, 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 fixing, 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 but they're starting to be a give and take. So if you don't see it yet in your finances, uh, know it's coming and be aware of other ways in which your energy is shifting for you to have an exchange of energy where you're experiencing an exchange of energy. Okay. Your Wednesday, Thursday card, my dears, is a page of swords. Now, what's super duper interesting is this card came up at the same exact part of the week for Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with Aquarius or maybe you have Aquarius in your chart somewhere and that element is going to be coming up in a very positive or helpful way for you. But if you are coming into a financial flow and you're trying to unblock things, Page of Swords for me is a card that can a lot of the times indicate you are coming into a situation where you are being required to speak up or speak your truth 
right? So if you're feeling like, well, you know, it's sure amethyst, that sounds great. That sounds great. Not having to be the fixer all the time. That sounds great having people step up and help me out. But I sure as heck, I've been trying to manifest that for the longest time and I don't see any improvement. And if that's the case, this is the card that's coming up that Spirit is saying, okay, here's what you can do to clear that chakra. Here's what you can do to get that ball moving, to get that stuck, stagnant energy going, which is to speak up. Okay, even if you know that person or situation is not going to change, when you speak up that way, you take the stand in a clear, logical, uh, calm kind of way, and you you take that stand, you're making a statement to the universe where you're saying, I will not accept this kind of behavior. This is not a contract. This is not an agreement I'm willing to keep. I am not willing to be jumping through hoops and tiring myself out for other people to reap the benefits of my hard work and to leave me hanging. I'm just, I'm simply not doing that anymore. So it's a time for you to speak your truth, to speak your truth and uh, to be clear about how you feel and to just kind of own it and be like, this is what it is, you know? Um, when you begin doing this, you're going to help make that shift to where now you are going to call in or attract situations or individuals who are going to have your back, who are going to be helpful or who are going to care about your feelings. Other ones of you, there's money coming in for a project with that six of coins in the beginning of the week. There's some money coming in for a project or some financial thing is beginning to move forward and page of swords for you guys is going to be about getting down to business calculating what's going on doing the research doing the reconnaissance right maybe you're wanting to start a brick and mortar business and there's finances or funding coming in and you're going to have to start doing your research you're going to be driving through different neighborhoods and you know looking at oh well, what about if you know we had a spot here in this location or that location or you're wanting to move and finances are coming in and you're wanting to move you're you're checking out different areas or you're checking out different things like you know is this a good spot is this what I want to do? So you're beginning to do your homework. You're beginning to do your research. You're beginning to gather information to go into the next stages and the next phases, okay? Page of Swords can also be like a reconnaissance kind of card where you're gathering information. Um, I would also say those of you where your money is improving, where you, you're like, oh, no, definitely. Good news is coming in around finances this week. Be cautious about people who seem really interested in that and be cautious about like how much of it you're broadcasting to other people because Page of Swords can also be someone that's kind of like watching you and spying a little bit like they might be spying a little bit and they might be like oh Aries is doing well mm, Aries seems to be coming up I'm gonna go be buddy buddy with Aries or I'm gonna like try to hit them up with some sob story that you know like all of a sudden things are going better for you and somebody comes in with like a with like a really terrible sob story and with that six of coins you might be tempted to give but you need to also be cautious because if you're giving yes we give for the sake of giving we don't give for a selfish reason but you also don't want to give uh to someone if you know that they're not telling you the truth or they're exaggerating a situation so i feel like some people might be coming to you like really wanting help simply simply because they're under the impression that you're coming up or things are better for you financially. And they know that you might have a good heart, that you might be like, hey, I got you. I know what it's like to struggle. But they know that about you because they've been watching you. So be aware of that. Don't don't put all your cards on the table. It's like the uh, the Kenny Rogers song, The Gambler. You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them. No one to walk away, no one to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be plenty of time for counting when the dealing's done. Don't put everything out there on the table, okay? Don't don't put everything out there for everybody to see, right? And, you know, it's not even that you're trying to show off. You're just being open about your life. Be cautious about that because for some of you, this page of swords can be somebody who's looking to take advantage of that situation. Okay, um, let's look at your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ooh, this is insane. This is so 
freaking crazy. If you, oh, oh my God, Aries. If you have Aquarius in your chart, this is a massive confirmation for you. Massive. Now, the card I'm about to show you was not their Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday card. But the card I'm about to show you was the card that they got from this deck. So same card, different deck, but it's the same kind of theme here. We have the lovers, okay? We have the lovers. So um, this is a card that's a major arcana, okay? So when the major arcana cards come up, we're coming into a period of time. We're coming into a new cycle of things. And then based on what that major arcana card is, we have an idea of what that period or that cycle with the theme will be. So this isn't going to be just like covering your weekend. Your weekend is the start of this period or this phase and the card that you have is the lovers okay it can signify for some of you a gemini coming in or a significant gemini however the lovers card is about love and romance but it's also about choices and decisions what choices and decisions are you making and how is it benefiting your love life or how is it aligning you with manifesting the kind of relationships that you want or the things that you're trying to manifest. So there's some significant soulmate energy coming in for you all. And you all are on different parts of your path, different parts of the journey. So it'll be felt in different ways. This is a general reading. I highly recommend you watch your moon sign and rising sign videos as well, because that's going to add more information to that for you all. Also, you might want to watch the love and romance readings for January, which are linked in the description if you want more free videos that go deeper into love and romance you might want to watch that but we're going to pull your message for the week and see what's coming up here and as always my dears if you would like a, a private reading you can schedule by clicking on the calendly link there and you can schedule a private reading there so let's see what's happening for aries sun moon and rising what is your card for the week what is your affirmation for the week what would spirit like you to know? Messenger of fire. So some of you are receiving news this week. Absolutely. Because we talked about, you know, some of you, I, I said, remember when I said I had this feeling that you guys were waiting on some news or you were waiting to hear something or you just maybe feel like something's going to happen, but you don't know what and you're waiting for it to happen. Messenger of fire is something is coming into motion and it's going to be in motion very, very quickly. So some of you are absolutely going to be receiving news, positive news, news that you're going to be excited about. But let's go ahead and take a look at your affirmation. So messenger of fire affirmation is going to be. Oh. I got into messenger of water. Hold on. Messenger of fire. So this is a card about determination for new adventures, innovations, independent creative actions, someone who's spirited, maybe even a little headstrong. Uh, but the affirmation is this, my darlings. I have an unstoppable spirit and can co-create all that I desire. Surrounded by spirit, illuminated by the wisdom that rises up within me, I set forth on a path to innovate. I trust in my vision and act accordingly, remaining true to what I most value and desire, which can manifest in many forms. Uh, one thing I forgot, guys, this is your element. This is your energy. You are in the element of fire, okay? You are in the element of fire, all right. And it's so funny if you have that air influence coming in through Aquarius in some way, you know, it, it makes me think of how oxygen feeds fire. It just makes it more powerful. I just think you, you guys are on a roll, whether or not there's Aquarius anywhere in your chart, whether or not you're dealing with an Aquarius Aries, I feel like you guys are on some kind of really big role. You're really coming into that fire energy. Um, here is the affirmation if you want to take a screenshot of it. And I highly recommend doing the affirmations first thing in the morning when you wake up and the last thing at night before you go to bed. If you do want to bring in elements of air and fire, you know, I like to 
when I'm doing affirmations, wake up first thing in the morning, I'll light my incense, I'll light a candle, I'll say the affirmation out loud, I'll sit there and I'll meditate for a few minutes, I'll say my morning prayer, um, and then I'll, you know, put out my candle, I'll put out my incense and I'll go about my day. And then last thing at night before I go to bed, I will, you know, light my candle, light my incense, say the affirmation, say my prayer, say my meditation, um, or do my meditation, say my prayer, put out the candle, put out the incense and go to bed. If you do it the very first thing in the morning and the very last thing at night, uh, it, I've found it kind of helps to make it a more automatic thought so that you're not constantly trying to remind yourself to think that way. It's like you're reprogramming your thinking because right when you wake up, your brain is shifting from the subconscious to the conscious. And right before you go to bed, your bed is transitioning from conscious to the subconscious. And so it's a good time to kind of plant that there. You can do it however you want to do it, though, whatever resonates with you. But that's just that's just an idea. If you want to uh, get a little bit more, you know, reading stuff during the week, I know that I know I do the readings readings once a week. But if you want something in between, please feel free to follow Amethyst Angel Light on Instagram and Facebook. Every single day I post a card there, a, a daily message, a daily card, and I do a pick a card there Well, I'll, I'll put three cards and you choose the card that it's kind of jumping out at you the most and then I'll do a reveal and you'll see which card you gravitated towards and a lot of people have been enjoying that so please feel free to follow along there as well guys I thank you so very much for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing I am wishing you an amazing week take care my dears